Revelation chapter 21 shows us the new heaven and the new earth and new Jerusalem. Verses 1 and 2. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city of New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Friends, the current earth and heaven will not just be renovated, as some believe. There will literally be a new planet earth and a new heaven for the saints to enjoy and rule with Jesus Christ. Satan and his demonic angels defiled both the current earth and heaven, and God will give us a new earth and a new heaven that has never been defiled nor shall ever be defiled by sin. The new earth and the new heaven will be beautiful beyond what we can even imagine. Verse 9 through 13. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will shew thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and shewed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The New Jerusalem will be the eternal capital city of the new planet Earth. Jesus will rule the world from the capital city. The square footage of the New Jerusalem will be greater than the size of the entire United States. If the city is this big, imagine how large the entire planet Earth will be. The capital city will be huge and more beautiful than words can describe. There will be streets of gold and gates of pearl. We shall rule together with Jesus Christ as the royal sons and daughters of God. Verses 21 through 27. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Can you imagine a new earth with no sun or moon because the glory of God lights it? And Jesus is the lamp that lights the world. There will be no night there, and the light will shine always. There will be no more sickness or pain, no death, no thieves or sin. Make sure your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life, my friend, and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. Revelation chapter 22 is the final chapter of the Book of Revelation. There is a river of life that proceeds out of the throne of God and the Lamb, and there are trees bearing fruit on either side. God gave us taste buds, my friends, and we will have them in his kingdom too, and use them to enjoy the goodness of God's kingdom that he has prepared for us. The perfect paradise that Adam and Eve lost in the Garden of Eden will be fully restored by the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. Verses 1-5 through five. And he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. 
In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, there was the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign for ever and ever. Friends, all the pain and suffering we see going on in this present world will one day soon come to an end, and God has prepared a new heaven and a new earth for us that is a perfect paradise. There will be no more poverty there, no hunger or thirst. Each of us will have a mansion, as Jesus teaches us in John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. The Spirit of God will fill the earth as water fills the sea. There will be such peace and joy there that even the lion will lay down with the lamb. One day we will all be with King Jesus and enjoy the new heaven and the new earth that he has prepared for us. There will be no more sickness or death there. We will all live forever and enjoy the presence of God and the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, for all eternity. Many people look at the suffering in this present world and they mistakenly blame God. But Satan is the cause of all the pain and suffering in this present world because he is the tempter who deceives people into sin, just as he tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And sin separates us from God. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The book of Revelation shows us how this present world will come to an end, and Revelation closes showing us that Christ Jesus and the saints of God will triumph in victory over Satan and all his demonic forces. This world will become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. Jesus also reminds us in this final chapter of Revelation who will be and who will not be granted access to the kingdom of God. Verse 14 through 17. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters. And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. Verses 20 and 21. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The new heaven, the new earth, and the new Jerusalem is God's gift to his children. We are joint heirs together with Christ Jesus. Make sure that you have accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, because no man can inherit these promises without first accepting Jesus Christ. Share this teaching on the book of Revelation with all your friends, family, and in group meetings so that they can be warned of the things to come and the great blessings awaiting all who are saved by the blood of the Lamb. May we see you in the kingdom of heaven, my friend. Let thy kingdom come, Lord Jesus.